Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're up here at the After Farm Home Manor. This morning we had two skid loaders running and then my dad and I run the skid loaders and my papa's running the tractor and spreader. We're renting a two blind nitro 375 RS again. And we got the upper barn here cleaned out, out back, the steer pen and all this. And I was just getting started scooping this lower heifer pen out next to the dry cows. I got a spreader loaded up and everything went up in the field. I had to turn the beaters on and for some reason they won't turn. It just the uh, slip clutches are going. So I'm not sure why it's slipping like that. While I'm waiting to figure out what's going on with that, I'm gonna throw some bedding in here and let these calves back inside because they're hungry. They wanna get to the feed and eat. So take the bucket off the skid loader, get the bale spear and Bring some corn fodder bales in here. TMR to these heifers, but we also give them some dry hay just to keep their rumen going. If they're getting a lot of uh, wet feet all the time, it's not always good for them. It's a really nice day out today. It's in the 80s and it's starting to cloud up a little bit. It was sprinkling rain a little bit there, not, not near enough to do anything because we are terrible dry. Uh, we, could, we could really use some rain. It's it's been a dry spring. I think we're like five inches behind in the uh, rain amount this spring compared to where we're usually at in uh, any other year. Got the pens bedded up here. Got some hay in the racks. See the steers are there enjoying the bale fodder. See one's already laying down. So I'm gonna go up here and try the spreader again. See if I can get it going. If not, I'm gonna call it quits for the day. This corn fodder is really dry stuff. It was good condition whenever we bailed it up. Quality of it would be a little bit better if we would have some place to keep it in out of the weather in the winter time but those bales we put like three rounds of net wrap on them so they shed water really good and they rarely mold every now and then you'll get a bale that's all soggy and moldy and stuff we just roll it out it gets spread out in the field same as the other stuff so the corn water works out really good for us always enjoy seeing them come in, in the fresh bedding running around jumping and playing around this bale here that I put in, I believe that was second cutting orchard grass. That's that's really good quality hay there. So it is. So be good eating for them. Got a little bit of dirt work to do here at the skid loader. I need to move some of the shell here over there to where we go on the steer pen right there. It's kind of wet there and it lays low. So I'm gonna take that mud out of there and put some of that good shell in there and build it back up to where it used to be. That'd be a 
make it nicer for going in now there feet in the skid litter. build up pretty decent with this uh, bigger stuff uh, it's got a lot of big stones in it they'll eventually break down and pack in but there's some finer shale out there that was from a different spot down at the farm the neighbor was there with his cat he dug a bunch of it out for us we hauled a bunch up here uh, down there at the dry cow pen built that all up again because that was all muddy mess we actually need some right there what this barn actually needs is some spouting put on it because you got all the water coming off the roof and it just lays here like if it was all sloped and the water could you know gradually flow down through there that would be all right but it's not like that this place here needs some excavation done maybe after we get all them bales and stuff cleaned up down there uh we can build this up here and slope it down nice and maybe eventually we could get some spouting put on the barn uh, sometime but for now i gotta get some of that finer stuff and level this out better and i'll probably park the skid loader and go see if i can get that spreader to turn the beaters to turn if not i'm gonna be done for the day i gotta go feed calves and stuff then eventually yeah we got some plastic and some mesh wrap that needs cleaned up up here normally don't like to have a bunch of clutter around you know at least i don't i like to have things pretty cleaned up but whenever you're a farmer that uh, that don't always work out for you because you got other stuff that you need to prioritize more than keeping after things now that we got them going we can rev the tractor up and then run the web chain there we're spreading Out. That's a plus. I had trouble with the door. I couldn't get it down. I had an airlock. For some reason, the one hose is leaking back there that runs the, the web chain in the floor to take the door out the back. This spreader here has got a web chain in it. It doesn't have the hydro push. None of these two blind spreaders do have a hydro push in them. This web chain, it works all right. I think if we were to own a spreader, that yeah, better the beaters rather go of a hydro push because if that manure's got to be going out if that ram's pushing it back these uh floor chains they can be kind of questionable now and then but we don't really have too much trouble with it and every now and then you'll get a load that has a bunch of hay in it or something you don't want to take it out the back but i was hoping to keep home manure but this hydraulic hose here made me quit must have a pinhole in it and it's spraying out pretty good now, if it was just dripping a little bit it'd probably get by till tomorrow but there's no use of wasting hydraulic oil so we're gonna have to get a new hose here made i'm not sure which one it is it might be rubbed through here at this here clamp not sure i got to get her figured out comes back here to this pump that runs the floor to take the manure out. Wind is picking up. Looks like it's got rain. That's good. We can use it. Probably tomorrow we can get a hose put on that thing. Get manure. More manure hauled. We got quite a few loads out today. This upper part of the barn here, it was really full of manure. And the lower two pens, a heifer pen, the dry cow pen. It's pretty full too, so it's got to take a little bit to get them cleaned out. 
Hopefully we can tackle that job tomorrow. Maybe if you get that hose fixed on that thing. Um, it was leaking when it came, so I'm not sure what the deal is there. We shouldn't be the ones that have to fix it. But I see the heifers are enjoying their nice new bedding and they're, they're eating their feed. Hey, how's it going? It's the next day here now. Today we got the spreader going again. Got that hydraulic hose fixed. They just uh, put the uh, connectors in there, crimped, uh, cut the bad part out of the hose and crimped a new piece on there and just put a connector there. So, got her fixed up. Hopefully everything goes good. I had, we got this two pens here done yesterday and I'm working at this pen here now and it's a lot of manure here. We'll just say that. using the regular low profile dirt bucket there uh, we have another bucket that we use for feeding and then this here bucket is the one we use for more and stuff you can actually see the cutting edge i like to use it, it has a little bit of a longer uh, snout on it compared to the feed bucket it's not, the bottom of it's not quite as long it has a higher back so you can get a little more in it but you can't see the cutting edge we just use that to scoop silage out of the trench and whatnot. So I put the rock forks on the skid loader here. These blue things. We usually use them to pick rocks out of the field because you can pick the rocks out without getting the dirt because the dirt just falls right through. And we're working at it here. I'm getting the manure out a lot easier with them.
It's looking like it could rain. There's a chance of storms this afternoon. Uh, it doesn't matter anyhow. I got a milk, so I won't be able to haul even if it wasn't not rain. It's now later on in the afternoon. I got like four loads of manure hauled out up there. I guess that job's gonna have to wait till Monday to at least get that pen finished. We still have a lot of manure to haul yet. We got a pile down here. Got the stable down in the barn to clean out. The shed over here to haul out. So we're gonna be hauling for a little while here. If the rain holds off, we don't get too much. It actually rained a good bit here this afternoon. A thunderstorm come through and uh, wetting the dust down pretty good. Now things are muddy again. So what I'm actually gonna do now is take this 2290 up on the hill, hook up to that John Deere disc, bring it down because we got somebody coming to look at it. I had advertised it for sale. It's not a bad disc. Uh, it just doesn't really fit our needs anymore because we wanted a good you know, leveling disc. That's considered more or less a plowing disc. The disc we have now is a Kraus. It's a 18 footer. Does a better job than what that John Deere did. Uh, now if we were just using that John Deere for plowing and stuff like that, that wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, so here it is. It's a John Deere 310 disc, 16 foot wide. It's uh, considered a plowing disc if you see how the that uh, how that gang comes in this way this gang is that way same thing up front so at one time this tractor here was the big horse they used to pull this disc that brilliant call to packer over there that there is the new disc that we updated to it's a Krause 7300 it's more or less a herring disc so it levels out the field nice compared to this disc it never really did a good job maybe back in the day when it was a little newer but like i said there's there's really not too much wrong with this disc if anything uh it's just yeah you know, it's older it might be starting to get a little wore out but there's still some life left to it uh, the tires are still in decent shape and whatnot so i got her hooked up we can go ahead and pull it down there actually before this tractor my uncle had gotten this disc back in the 80s a uh, year after he bought the 2090 he bought that used and I'm pretty sure that's was used too so the only tractor well the only big tractor here back then was the 2090 so it used to pull this disc now whenever he got this 2290 it had pulled it and after that he had a 2390 that had gotten traded off for the 2294 it had some engine problems it was using oil pretty good i think it just needed an overhaul i kind of wish that tractor was still around because i really like the those 2390s it had doles on it and everything uh, my dad said it was a really nice tractor somebody had redone it before uh, my uncle had bought it i never actually ran this disc too much just a little bit now and then but i mostly ran that alex chalmers disc that we had I don't think where it's sitting. Oh, it's sitting down there. It's a smaller disc. We hook it up to the 2290 here. My papa would run the 2294 in this disc. And I would run the 2290 in that Alan Chalmers disc. Well, there she sits.